How do you calculate where to place your speakers in a Dolby Atmos setup? This is a question that is very, very confusing for a lot of people. And it starts with the diagrams that have been developed by Dolby themselves. The company that has developed Dolby Atmos put out diagrams and the diagrams are actually more confusing. So what I'm going to do today is give you very clear instructions on how to calculate where to put your speakers for your room. These calculations work for whatever type of room you're in. No matter how tall your ceiling is, no matter how wide your room is, no matter how far your seat is from the screen, these calculations will show you exactly where to put your speakers, both the bed layer speakers and your height channels. Now, the two configurations that I'm going to cover in this video are 7.1.2, and 7.1.4. So that's seven bed layer speakers, and then the calculations for whether you're doing two height channels or four height channels. And once we go through all this, you're gonna know exactly how to figure out where to put the speakers in your room. So the first place we're going to start is right here, the center channel. This one is the easiest. It goes in the middle of the screen, ear level height to the main listening position. Once you have the center channel speaker located, you take a measurement. You measure from that speaker all the way back to the main listening position. And you're going to measure at the main listening position at ear level height, where your ear is when you are watching a movie or listening to music. You take that measurement and then you multiply it by 0.58. So if it's 100 inches from the center speaker to the main listening position, multiplied by 0.58, that gets you 58 inches. If you're using the metric system, then you would measure it in centimeters. And let's say it's 100 centimeters. Well, then that gets you 58 centimeters. So what do you do once you have that measurement? Well, you take that and you measure over to the side of the center channel speaker. So in this example, let's say it's 100 inches from the center speaker to the main listing position. You multiply by 0.58, that gets you 58 inches. So then from the center channel speaker, you measure over 58 inches, and that is where you place your left main. And then you do the same thing for the right main. You measure over from the center channel speaker, 58 inches, over here, and that is where your right main is located. Now, what does that 0.58 get you? What it gets you is a 30 degree angle. When you're sitting at the main listening position and you're looking at the screen, the left main will be 30 degrees over from the center channel speaker, and the right main will be 30 degrees over from the center channel speaker. Now we've got the LCRs completely set up. Now let's do the side channels. Now the side channel speakers are very easy. You're going to place them directly to the side of the main listening position, slightly above ear level. Most people recommend that rather than place them right at ear level, you make sure that the tweeter is just slightly above, just a few degrees above the ear level at the main listening position. And then here, here's the other thing. I say directly across, but this one, it kind of comes down to personal preference. Some people prefer for it to be a few degrees back. Other people prefer for it to be a few degrees forward. Other people, they want it directly across. So it kind of depends on, on what you prefer. The other thing to consider is you might have something blocking the, the ideal location. Like say there's a door right here. And so you have to place it a few degrees over anyways, right? So the point of this is don't stress if you're not able to get it exactly right. As long as you get it close, within a few degrees of where it's supposed to go, it's going to sound great. And now we get to the rear surround speakers. This one, it's almost exactly the same as the front mains, except instead of measuring from the distance from the main listening position 
to the front of the room, you measure the distance from the main listing position to the rear wall or wherever you plan on placing your rear surround speakers. You measure that distance and again, multiply it by 0.58 and then go that, that distance to each side. So to the left and to the right. And once again, that is going to give you a 30 degree angle from the main listening position over to the rear surround speakers. Now, once you have those two speakers placed, now you're completely done with the bed layer speakers. And that brings us to the height channels. We're going to start with a two height channel setup. So this would be a 7.1.2. Let's calculate how to place the two height channels. So when you are installing a two height channel setup, the two speakers for your height channels, Dolby recommends that they be placed forward of the main listening position 10 degrees. So we need to get a measurement that will give us the distance forward to get that 10 degrees. And the way you do that is you measure from ear level at the main listening position to the ceiling. Once you have that, you multiply by 0.18. So in our example, let's say it's 100 inches from the main listing position at ear level to the ceiling, multiplied by 0.18, that's 18 inches. So you would then measure forward 18 inches on the ceiling. Well, that gets us halfway. Now we have to figure out how far to the side we're going to set the speakers. And to do that, you multiply that original measurement from ear level at the main listening position to the ceiling, you multiply that by 0.7. So if it's 100 inches, that would give you 70 inches. So you would come forward 18 inches, and then you would go to the side 70 inches. So 70 inches this way for the right height channel, and then 70 inches this way for the right height channel, or the left height channel, getting mixed up here. So what does that 0.7 multiplier get us? Well, what that does is that creates an angle from the main listening position to the speaker. That gets us an angle of 35 degrees. And this is key because 35 degrees means that the speakers are then separated by a 70 degree angle, which means that then there is a 55 degree angle difference between the height channel, and then the side speaker that corresponds to it on the wall. I know that's kind of confusing, but what it does is you don't want, you don't want your height channels to be spread too far apart. You want them to have the right distance apart, but you also don't want them to be too close to the side speakers, but you don't want them to be too far apart. So you kind of want them in that happy middle area. And that 0.7 multiplier gets us that. So all you have to remember is measure from the main listening position to the ceiling. Take that first, measure by 0.18. That gets you how far forward. Then you multiply that same measurement by 0.7. That gets you the measurement to the side for each speaker. Now let's cover a 0.4 height channel setup. So this would be a 7.1.4. So you're going to have four height speakers. This one is actually very easy to calculate. You measure from ear level at the main listening position to the ceiling, take that measurement, multiply by 0.7. And then you just use that measurement for both directions. So let's say 100 inches, from ear level at main listing position to the ceiling, 100 inches, multiplied by 0.7, 70 inches. So then you would come forward 70 inches, and then you would go to the side 70 inches, and then you would go to the other side 70 inches. That would get your, your two front heights. Then you do the same thing for the rear heights, except you go back 70 inches, and then to the side 70 inches for both rear speakers. And that creates like a perfect square of height channels right above your main listening position. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. In the meantime, thanks for watching.